Hi guys, and welcome into another edition of Duke Center. I'm Bennett Conlin, joined by our other sports editor here. Hey, Matt Wire, guys, thanks for coming. Well, let's just jump right into it. Yep. Biggest story of the week has got to be football. 20-7 to win over Villanova, CAA championship, securing an automatic playoff bid. What a game. For the first time in a while, the defense actually won a game. Mm -hmm. They only allowed seven points, four interceptions, only 71 passing yards allowed. Great game all around. The only issue be on the offensive side, Brian Shore had an injury this week. Yeah, Cole Johnson came in, wasn't very impressive, but did seem to settle down a little bit in the second half. Uh, Coach Houston has yet to give us a timetable on his return. This should be a game time decision, but we're still waiting to see for sure. They probably won't need him as they are playing Elon, who's two and eight overall, one and six in the conference. They just lost it by 30 to Rhode Island, who JMU beat by 77. Yeah, definitely uh, senior day, so um, a lot of guys will be getting rest. I think Carden Johnson might not see him. We'll see, uh, but not a big test anymore. No, not at all. Women's basketball did have a big test this week as they played Tennessee at home. They lost, but they did have a lead in the fourth quarter, played a very close game, losing 81-69. to and they won to beat St. Francis 83-57 to on Sunday. Yeah, Precious Hall had two huge games, dropping 39 against Tennessee and then 24 against uh, St. Francis, winning CAA Player of the Week. Huge return for her first two games since coming back from the ACL injury. Really just all around good to see from her. Yeah, she looks fresh coming off the injury. Uh, freshman Camille Smalls also looks great. She averaged 15.5 points per game, 9.5 rebounds per game. So she's a standout freshman already. Now, there is some bad news with women's basketball. Sophomore center Kayla Cooper-Williams did tear her ACL in an exhibition game prior to the season. She will require surgery and miss the entire year. So that's a big blow. She won CAA Rookie of the Year last year. So uh, they're definitely going to be missing her down the road. For sure. Tough loss for them. They play against Florida State on the road. They're a top 25 team. And that'll be Sunday, November 20th. So Tennessee and Florida State to open season. Obviously pretty tough. Definitely. But... Men's basketball has had a little bit tougher of a road. Already to 0-2, yeah. losses to Rice and ODU, neither of them close. Really just disappointing of all around. It's been a struggle. Rice played um, Our Lady of the Lake in their first exhibition game. They won by 10. They beat us by 24. So that's not a great sign for JV men's basketball. Uh, Lewis Rose opening his coaching career hasn't looked great so far. Yeah, they actually went over 10 minutes without scoring a single point and over five without even attempting a shot. So lots of turnovers, mm -hmm. lots of fouls, just messy basketball all around the court. The good news is there's only one place to go and that would be up. They play Montana State Friday, they'll hope to bounce back. We'll see how they do. Now, volleyball on the other hand, they've been doing pretty well. They reeled off eight straight wins to capture the CAA regular season title. They beat Towson three sets to two on senior night to win that title, so lots of good things seen out of them. Definitely, and Janie Goodman's been leading that team. She had 17 kills against Towson. And an interesting stat, the last eight wins, the eight straight wins, they've lost at least one set in all those, so they're getting used to winning close matches, which is a good sign for the postseason. Mm -hmm. Speaking of that postseason, the CAA Volleyball Championship will be held from November 18th through the 20th in Wilmington, North Carolina, with the winner will secure an NCAA title berth, so looking to see if they can break into the tournament. Definitely, definitely. That's it for this week's episode uh, from Bridgeport to Centara. We've, we've got, got you covered. covered.